Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God. God wants me to tell you that judgments have gone out on those who abuse children. As you can see in the world, there's a lot of grooming going on. There's a lot of pedophilia going on. There's a lot of children getting abused and hurt going on. And the last judgment God told me he put out was, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. And this now, God is so angry. And I was just crying, you guys, before I made, even making this video right now is really hard for me because of this topic. It's making me cry. Yeah, I don't know if you heard in my voice, I'm trying to hold back my tears making this video right now. So basically the message is, <laughs> um, God sent out judgments on those people who hurt his children, the li little children, people who abuse children, people who um, molest children, people who are grooming children, people who are abusing children, people who are doing evil to children. So I don't know if you've been watching the weather lately, but like Somalia has sandstorms covering houses. China has floods and typhoons. So does India. Um, I think there was a tornado or was it a flood in Japan? There's just a lot of stuff going on right now. And um, basically, God put out judgments. Judgments are gone out on those who abuse children. So you just like the touch not as anointed where multitudes of people are just going to be washed out and gone, this these people, for the children, they're going to dry um, excruciating deaths for the stuff that they've been involved to hurt children and um, child trafficking, these type of stuff, what people's doing. So I'm going to read um, all the scriptures God wants me to read to you concerning children, right? And um, how they're so pure and innocent before him. All right. And even when they don't reach the age of accountability, they um, they're still they're saved, even if they die before their time, they're saved. And these these people who are out here hurting children, now judgments called on them. All right. So let's. I just wanted to let you know this before I get into the scriptures. This is a very heavy subject for me to talk about. Matthew 18 and 6. But whosoever shall offend one of these little ones which believes in me, it were better for him that a milestone were hanged above his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Okay, so we're going to go back up because, all right, Matthew 8 and 4, and said, Verily I say unto you, except you be converted and be as a little, little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as little child as a li this little child the same is great greatest in the kingdom of heaven and whosoever shall receive one such little child in my name receives me but whosoever shall offend one of these little ones which believes in me it were better for him that a milestone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depths of the sea God wanted me to read this about whosoever would offend one of these little ones. Because children have been crying out to God about the stuff people have been doing to them. And they can't defend themselves. And their prayers have reached up to God's throne where he threw down a judgment. Woe unto the world because of offenses. For it must need be that the offenses come. But woe! To that man by whom the offenses come. Wherefore, if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut it off. Those people who like to touch children, if your hand offend you, cut it off. <laughs> and cast it far from thee. For it is better to enter into the 
enter into life halt or maim rather than having two hands and two feet to be cast into everlasting fire. And if that I offend thee, people who are watching, watching child pornography, doing stuff, doing evil with their eyes, it, if that I offend thee, pluck it out. You ain't supposed to be looking at children like that and cast it from thee. It is better for thee to enter into the light with one eye rather than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. Okay? So, except you be converted and become as one of these little children, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever shall humble himself as this little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Now, we're going to go to Doctrine and Covenants because he wants me to read chapter 121, starting from verse 10. And it's, it's pretty lengthy. Thou art not as Job. Thy friends do not contend against thee, neither charge thee with transgressions as they did Job. So God's saying like people's friends these days, they see them doing all form of evil and they don't charge them with the transgressions and the evils that they do like Job's friends did. Like Job's friends went to see about why he was going through that and telling him, hey. And they do charge thee with transgression. Their hope shall be blasted and their prospects shall melt away as the hoarfrost melted before the burning rays of the rising sun. And also that God has set his hand and sealed to change the times and seasons and to blind their minds that they may not understand his marvelous working, that he may prove them also and take them in their own craftiness. It's going to get into children. So God said he blind these people's mind um, for them not to understand his marvelous workings, to prove them and catch them in their own craftiness. Also, their hearts are corrupted and the things which they are willing to bring upon others. So the things they're willing to do upon other people, God said their hearts are corrupted and the things they're willing to do and bring upon others and love to have others suffer. So God's saying these people are corrupted and they love to bring things upon others and they love to have others suffer, may come upon themselves to the very uttermost. So that suffering is going to come on to them, that they may be disappointed also, and their hopes may be cut off. And not many years hence, that they and their prosperity shall be swept from under heaven, says God, that not one of them is left to stand by the wall. Cursed are all those that shall lift up the heel against my anointed, says the Lord. And cry they have sinned when they have not sinned before me. So God's saying, cursed are all those people who lift up their heel against his anointed and crying and telling people how they sinned against them and they didn't, but have done that which was meat in my eyes. And God's saying his anointed did what was meat in his eyes and which he commanded them. But them people rise up their heels against his anointed and have cried and, you know, cried wolf how they were doing sins against them and they weren't. Amen. But those who cry transgressions do it because they are the servants of sin. So God's telling you, them people who've been crying wolf and crying how them people's been sinning and transgression against them, lying on his anointed. It's because they're servants of sin and they are the children of disobedience themselves. And those who swear falsely against my servants that they might bring them into bondage and death. So God's saying their whole purpose to swear falsely against his anointed, his touch not his anointed, do his prophets no harm, is to bring them in bondage, to keep them in captivity, bondage, slavery, and to, and to put them to death. And then he says, woe unto them because they have offended my little ones. So you see how the anointed goes into the little ones as the two judgments. So touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. That judgment went out, and now he just did the judgment of the children. And he brought me to these scriptures. So, and it just now goes into the children, right? He says, and those who swear falsely against my servants, that they might bring them in the bondage and death. 
Woe unto them, they have offended my little ones. They shall be severed, severed from the ordinance of my house. Sorry, they shall be severed from the ordinances of my house. Their basket shall not be full. Their houses and their barns shall perish, and they themselves shall be despised by those that flatter them. So them people who hurt children, them people who hurt his, who went about lying on his anointed to cause them to be in bondage and cause them to be put to death, and them people who've been touching children and hurting children and going out of their way to harm and abuse children, he says their baskets shall not be full. Their houses and their barns shall perish, and they themselves shall be despised by those that flatter them. They shall not have right to the priesthood, nor their prosperity after them from generation to generation. It had been better for them that a millstone had been hanged about their necks, and they drowned in the depths of the sea. Woe unto all those that discomfort my people, and drive in murder, and testify against them says the Lord of hosts, a generation of vipers shall not escape the damnation of hell. Behold, my eyes see and know all their works, and I have in re reserve a swift judgment in the season thereof for them all. So this is the season for this swift just judgment, for this, for touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm, and those who have been offending his little children, the little ones. Amen. Behold, my eyes shall see and know all their works, and I have in reserve a swift judgment for the season thereof for them all. For there is, an, a, there is a time appointed for every man, according as his works shall be. God shall give you knowledge by his Holy Spirit. Yeah, by the, in, by the unspeakable gift of the Holy Spirit that has not been revealed since the world was until now which our forefathers have awaited with anxious expectation to be revealed in the last times, which their minds were pointed to by the angels as held in reserve for the fullness of their glory. Now to the children, sorry, this one. Ne three nephews, 17 and 21. And when he had said these words, he wept, and the multitude bear record of it, and he took their little ones, one by one and blessed them and prayed on to the Father for them. Now, this is the part where God wants me to talk about the children, how they're just they're just innocent before him. Maroni eight and eleven, and their little children need no repentance, neither baptism. Behold, baptism is unto repentance to the fulfilling the commandment unto the remission of sins. Moroni 8 and 22, For behold, that all little children are alive in Christ, and also all they that are without the law. For the power of redemption comes on all them that have no law. Wherefore, he that is not condemned or he that is under no condemnation cannot repent, and unto such baptism avails nothing. Children are innocent before the, their years of accountability, right? Now, Doctrine and Covenants 18 and 42. For all men must repent and be baptized, and not only men, but women and children who, who, have, a, who have arrived at the years of accountability when you're eight. Your sins count, right? That's the year of an accountability, right? So, but before that, if they're not saved, that's fine. Because children are not, they're, they're, they're repentance, they're, they're free from the law. And their, their angels surround little children. Doctrine and Covenants 20 and 70. Every member of the church of Christ having children is to bring them on to the elders before the church who are to lay their hands. Well, God doesn't want people laying hands on anyone's children at this point. He wants you to pray for your own children, anoint them and pray for them yourself. This was a scripture I was supposed to get. 
doctrine and covenants 45 and 58 and the earth shall be given unto them for an inheritance and they shall multiply and wax strong and their children shall grow up without sin unto salvation people of god people really need to repent for what they've done to children Doctrine and Covenants 50 and 41. Fear not, little children, for you are mine, and I have overcome the world, and you are of them that my Father has given me. Doctrine and Covenants 74 and 7. But little children are holy, being sanctified through the atonement of Christ, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel Christ, and this is what the scriptures mean. I'm the Doctrine and Covenants 93 and 40, but I have commanded you to bring up your children in light and truth but there's people out here they're bringing up their children in evil that's in here doctrine and covenant 68 and 31 now i the lord am not well pleased with the inhabitants of zion the people who came from mount zion for there are idlers among them and their children are also growing up in wickedness they also seek not earnestly the riches of eternity, but their eyes are full of greediness. So the message is this right here. Matthew 18 and 6. But whosoever shall offend one of these little ones which believes in me, it were better for him that a milestone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depths of the sea. So God has thrown judgments on those who harm children. Please take this up with fasting and praying. I love you guys all. Stay blessed and stay strong in the Lord. Psalms 91, Psalms 27, and Psalms 121. Take care, beautiful people.